Hello Star Wars fans, welcome back to a brand new Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. Today we're reviewing yet another figure from uh, the last wave of the Vintage Collection line. It will be figure number 102 and it's Ahsoka Tano from the Clone Wars. Now this is definitely one of the most anticipated figures um, from the last wave that I know many collectors are excited to own. I know I'm very excited to have this figure. And the fact that Hasbro has delivered a realistic Ahsoka from the Clone Wars series um, is just so cool. It's beyond words. I think it's just so cool that they they really gave the fans um, something to truly appreciate. Especially for a character that's as loved as Ahsoka. So um, let's go over the packaging. You have the Star Wars of Clone Wars logo on the vintage line, which just looks so cool. You have Ahsoka's name there. I'm not sure why Hasbro isn't using her last name anymore. There's got to be some reason for that. Um, you have Ahsoka's picture on the right side. Now, they didn't really make the likeness to Ashley Eckstein, I'm pretty sure, um, just because she didn't really play her at all in the live action and her likeness in the Clone Wars I don't think really comes from Ashley at all so I think they just made it as a completely different separate character and I think that's kind of good actually but that's a really nice image that they used for her you have the Kenner logo at the bottom now the same thing with Obi-Wan since this is um, from a different place it's literally not the US card um, you can see it in different languages and things like that. You also can see the other figures from the wave, which is Weakway, Obi Wan, the Emperor's Royal Guard, Lumat, and Yin Nub, as well as the Ahsoka over here, and then other figures from previous waves. You also have the vintage collection vehicles available in stores right now. Now on to the figure. Again, like many other vintage collection figures, the detail is superb. I really like it a lot. There's maybe one or two minor details that I won't like, but let's just get on with the articulation first. Um, Ahsoka has a ball jointed neck, ball hinge shoulders, and elbows. Now, although she does not have swivel wrists, she does have um, articulation, you know, swivel up here in her cufflinks, so you can swivel that. Okay. She also has a swivel upper torso, as you can see. Swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and ankles. So articulation isn't disappointing to me, um, mainly since they give her a uh, swivel right here. You can definitely uh, pose her to do different, um, poses when she puts her lightsabers backwards from the uh, arts that she does of Jarkai. Now let me go over the detail on the figure. Starting off with the head sculpt. Now again, they did not use the likeness of Ashley because she didn't play the character in live action at all, only as the voice. So they wanted to kind of keep it, I guess, unique and not have to, you know, have Ahsoka considered as Ashley. Um, so I like the head sculpt. I think it's decent. Um, the, the the colors of the face, it's it's spot on to the series. The blues, um, this part right here is really nice as well. Which the braids as well starts off here and leads down to the back, which we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, her skin tone is perfectly spot on. I like how they made these lines, which in the Clone Wars she doesn't really have that. And I'll show you a comparison of the Clone Wars figure in just a few minutes. So I really like that little extra detail that they added. Okay, down on her waist, her belt looks very cool. Um, the lightsaber hilts clip on nicely. They're very, very cool. Okay. Her legs, her boots are also detailed on both sides she's on the back um, she has this part of her tunic uh, made of soft goods which is 
again good for posability details on the back and the braids again they're uh, decently detailed as well this is the smaller range lightsaber hilt detail on it is cool not much detail on it but certainly enough to make it look realistic and then her regular hilt now this one definitely has more detail and it looks a lot more uh, realistic alright now if you compare it to the Clone Wars Ahsoka from season 3 they look pretty much the same I mean the realistic one looks a little bit bulkier naturally more realistic and the outfits um, like I said are certainly a, a bit different um, like I said this one has like lines going down uh, the uniform while this one does not the Clone Wars doesn't um, Clone Wars she looks a lot more skinnier um, and the head sculpts naturally are more different this right here if you notice these little green areas a part of her head are a lot thinner and a lot smaller on the vintage collection one Okay, so you guys can see that. But other than that, really, the uniforms are spot on. Um, where you clip the lightsaber hilts are a lot more up front as opposed to the Clone Wars one where it's literally on the side. And just uh, a little bit of differences on the paint job area. But for the most part, oh, and um, her head tails are also like a little bit longer on the Clone Wars version. But again, animation compared to real life will technically never look 100% exactly the same. Okay, so all in all, again, Ahsoka is definitely a figure you need to have in your collection, especially if you have these three figures from the Clone Wars, except they're in realistic form. Uh, next year, we're going to be having Captain Rex and Mace Windu from the Clone Wars as well in realistic form, and they're going to go perfect with these three figures. Ahsoka is a character that's beloved by so many of us fans, and I definitely thank Hasbro for doing a phenomenal job with not just Ahsoka, but Anakin and Obi-Wan as well. Um, they just look phenomenal together, and I'm glad to have them in my collection. But uh, please share your thoughts. Comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, you can only get Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, and the rest of the wave online. It will not be on shelves or any kind of store, unfortunately. You can only get them at uh, websites like Big Bad Toy Store, Brian's Toys, Entertainment Earth, Toy Wiz, um ebay amazon.com um, so again share your thoughts this is my review on clone wars ahsoka please follow me on facebook the link will be down in the description box below thank you so much for watching until next time may the force be with you